Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to check out a video that was requested on Patreon by this patron right here. And we were asked to check out Walkways, that's the name of the band, and the name of the song is Bleed Out, Heal Out. The first time that I saw this, I thought it was Bleed In, Bleed Out, or Bleed Out, Bleed In, uh, something along those lines. It would make more sense. It's a gang term. Like, when you join a gang, they beat you up. Like, they bleed you in, and then when you want to leave the gang, they beat you up again to bleed you out. That's how it works. You can't. You don't just get a loot bag and a thank you for your service and go on your merry way. That's not how gangs work. At least that's not what I've learned from watching shows like Mayans and Sons of Anarchy. Two of my favorite shows, by the way. I love those two shows. And Sons of Anarchy is really interesting. Every member of, of, of the gang, of the motorcycle gang, they have a huge tattoo on their back, which is the logo of the club. So it has like the rocker, it has the logo, and then it oh. has where, uh, what's the chapter that they're from, and they tattoo it on their back. So it's almost like they're wearing the vest, but on their back. And when you leave the club, they cover that because you can't carry the tattoo of the gang once you're not in the gang. So they actually tattoo like the whole back black. They cover it up in black really messed up shit but anyways that's why you never get gang tattoos that's why you never join a gang i mean not just because of that period you yeah. should never do that but anyways it's, oh yeah i'm not gonna join a gang just because of the tattoo everything else i'm okay with the tattoo is where i draw the line yeah all right uh are you ready to check this out i've never heard of the band so i, I really don't know what we're getting ourselves into yeah so you ready for this i'm ready to dive in okay let's do it Yeah! 
Remember live shows? Wow. Oh. Remember how much fun that was? Yeah. Wow, there was no social distancing at live shows. They, they, <laughs> they showed three different shows, and those three different times I felt jealous. Ah, fuck. Watching this video just... It's like a knife to the back. Anyways, I'm going to let you go first. What are your thoughts on Walkways, Bleed Out, Heal Out? I, I, it just feels like a fun song. It just feels like a... a, a it's, after seeing everyone having fun at the concert, I mean, that's my my take out of this song. Um, it, it just feels like a fun song that you just want to just jump in and scream with with the with the band. Did you get a little bit of a Breaking Benjamin vibe? A little, a little bit of kind of like that hard rock vibe, especially from the chorus. Yeah, I, I I got a little bit of that Breaking Benjamin vibe in terms of how the song is. It has some heavier moments. It has some more melodic moments. It alternates them really well. Mm -hmm. You kind of you kind of get to navigate through it. Really good vocals, yeah. which is something that you can always say about a Breaking. I mean, regardless I, if you like them or not, I, I don't think you can argue the quality of the vocals in that band. So uh, I felt like this band had a, a lot of those same elements, a lot of that same consistency of sound and, and vocals and approach and how the song is put together with with ebbs and flows and, and like I said, heavier moments. Really cool melodic chorus. Almost very stripped down, letting the vocals be in the forefront, kind of yeah. leading the way. So I, I just got a little bit of that vibe, and that's not a bad thing. I, that, it's just it's it's the impression that I got. I, I I dig it. It's not necessarily something that I would listen to every day, but I I, I don't hate it. I mean, I saw the I saw one of the videos there, uh, live videos. It, it looks like they were opening for In Flames because there was an In Flames thing behind them. Man, I, I would take these guys opening for In Flames any day of the week. Yeah. You know, uh, not that we haven't seen good bands opening for In Flames before, but I think they would make a good uh, duo. Uh, yeah, of. like it's a, it, it would be a good ticket. Yeah. You know what I mean? To go see these guys in In Flames right after. So I like some of the elements. I just wonder if they have songs where there's a little bit more bite. Yeah, because this song uh, had it some. It kind of gives you some glimpses. Yeah, it gives you some glimpses of what they're able to do. Yeah, there's some parts of the track, both vocally, I felt, and also musically. Where, where it gets a little bit heavier, it gets a little bit thicker, it's a little grimier. And on this track, they never really went all the way. It was just kind of like the tip, but it, it's the design, it's the style of this track to kind of give you this up and down yeah. feel. So I'm just wondering if there's songs where they go a little bit more towards the heavier side, because they, they definitely showed glimpses of that heavier side on this track. This track just finds a, a, a more balanced approach. And like I said, I, I don't, I, I like this stuff. It's It's, you said it right from the from the get go. It's a fun track, and when you see the live performances, if I'm at a at a festival or I'm at a show and and these guys come on and they play this song, I'm vibing to this. This yeah. is like yeah, it's not enough to get buck wild in, in the in the pit. Not that I do, anyways. Yeah. But it, it's it's a fun track that you're like yeah man. You can really vibe with it. Yeah, yeah. like I'm having a good time. Are you having a good time? Yeah, we're all having a good time. Like do you know what I mean? Like it's it's. You look at the security guards, you're having a good time. Yeah, everybody's having a good time. You he, know, like He's just looking at you with a stern face. Man, I, I never thought I would say this, but I, I miss the security guards I, I at, at, at the shows. Those dudes were, were I mean, we we've, we became good friends with them at the, at the venues in Toronto. It's always the same crew, pretty much. Like, give or take a guy. Yeah. Uh, I even miss those guys. I miss those. What, what, what was the show? Was it in Flames? Where, where they asked us because we're at the front if we could get them a guitar pick because they weren't working security that show. Oh. Yeah, and then we give them a guitar pick. It was the guy's birthday, one of the security guards, his birthday. And we, because uh, they were there just as, as fans, they were not working that night. And they asked us, oh, since you guys are at the front, can you, get... how can you say no? Because when they're working security and pits fall in front of them, they always hook us up. Yeah. So, so how can you say no to, to those guys? They, they're like family. Like I, That's one of the things I love about... Everyone at the show is like a, a big family. I agree. In Toronto, the metal community at the metal shows, you see the same faces all over uh, every single show. 
and the security guards, you see them all the time. Everybody just becomes a huge family. Everybody takes, takes care of each other. And then when there's a guy kind of stepping out of bounds that we don't know and they don't know, he, he, they treat him a lot differently than they do to the regular guys that are there, you know, night in, night out. You know what I mean? So there's a, it's a, it's a tight knit family from the promoter to the security, to the people that work the venues, to the people that attend the shows. And I'm, and I'm feeling for all of them because yeah. everybody's suffering. Some of them financially, some of them emotionally, because you can't go to shows and that really takes stirs to take a, a toll on you. So watching this video kind of reminded me of the fun times of going to shows. Yeah. Having that big gang. Yeah, man. I had to bring it back to the, the gangs. You had to go full circle on this, but I enjoyed the track. Did you enjoy the track? Yeah, I did. Yeah. That was fun. It was a fun video and a fun song. All right, guys, this is it for today. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more stuff for you. See ya. See ya.